Hey Greg, do you remember that uh, that night? In any anything in particular you remember about that night when we recorded at the Falcons? Well, Nest? it was more of a gig than a recording. Uh, but what I do remember is all that extra gear I had to lug in. And um, uh, we'd done the show many times, and it was just another show. Um, there were no plans for the recording. You just wanted to record it better than on a cassette. So I brought a two-track along, some noise reduction, uh, plugged it into the, um, uh, the PA center of the desk, hit record, and forgot about it and just mix the show. We, we had no intentions of really knowing wh whether it was going to be released as an, a live album. It was, wasn't intended to be a live album ever. Because um, at the time we were working on Hard Days, Long Nights, the compilation. And yep. I thought maybe we, if, if we get lucky, we might get a couple of um, spare tracks or some bonus cuts for the compilation. And, and so a, a couple of them appeared on there. But apart from that, then it was put away in the archives and it was never looked at again. I forgot about it completely. <laughs> I'd forgotten we even did it. <laughs> and um, I didn't really uh, have any um, plans for it either. I just thought it was going to be um, uh, a demo or nothing special really. Spare parts. Spare parts, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a lot of spare parts, but we never had enough spare parts, right? Well, there were so many takes when we were doing the sessions. I couldn't keep track of them. There was different versions of songs, different mixes, different edits. And so uh, this recording just ended up in the pool of all the stuff we were working on at the time. I love the way you mastered it because it, you didn't change it. You, it's, you highlighted things as because, you know, that's what you do as, a, as a, an engineer and a producer. Yeah. Um, but you crank that thing up and it makes me feel like I'm back at that show that night. And that's, that's, that's one of the things that, uh, that makes it special for me. Well, when you sent the tapes to me to be um, uh, mastered and I put them on, it was, uh, it was like a time, time warp because what I heard was what I remember the gig sounded like. That's what it sounded like coming out of the PA. And so when it came to mastering it, um, there wasn't a lot I wanted to do to it. That was what it was like, that was the show. I figured, why change it? Yeah, well, I, I have to agree. You know, yeah. there, there was nothing to change. I mean, the, it was there. We did, we did a lot of shows together. And from where I stood, uh, there was a progression. The shows were getting, um, more refined, more polished. Um, uh, the sets uh, had um, a, a really good structure to them. So that show was where, where your performances in Melbourne were about at their best. Right now, I'm so proud of having that out because it's like, it's not, it's not my best album. It's not my best performance of my life. And it's, it's nowhere near um, what I'm doing these days. It took me to where I am today. So to me, when I hear that, I hear all the potential and I hear all the, um, where, where, where I was heading as a musician. I think it's probably the best um, example of what you were doing at that time uh, in a live show because um, we did tapes of other shows on cassette and um, they were never good enough quality to release, but you can still hear uh, the kind of show you were putting on. And the one that we did in The Nest, that was probably, I'd say, the best of that period. So we captured the right night, you think? That was the right <laughs> night. Well, you know, when we worked together, uh, doing the live shows, we were constantly talking about it. Um, after the show, before the show, during the breaks, constantly talking about what's happening, what's working, what can be uh, changed, what can be improved. And it worked. Uh, 
every, every show it would just get a little bit better. And uh, I think that's the part that I remember that um, to capture that show was, um, uh, if you like, uh, the collection of our collaboration up to that point. So it surprised me and, and when I was mastering it and thinking about it, that's the, the sort of thing that came back to me that, well, it surprised me because of how much we worked on it at the time. It wasn't just one show that we were hearing, it's the collection of all those shows that we worked on. Concert at the Nest was the end. The oh, end of an era. Yeah, yeah, that was the end. Mm. And, um, and we got it. And we got it. Thanks. <laughs> Pleasure.